I want to get a sense of, of where your business is now. I read that the pandemic-induced shutdowns caused about a 70% decline uh, beginning in March of 2020 last year. Have you seen that snap back in any way or things pre-pandemic levels at this point? Yeah, so we ended the year last year actually up 10% through our direct-to-consumer channels, which we were really proud of considering we thought to ourselves, who needs a handbag right now during the pandemic? But she was there and voted yes. And we've pushed it so that we are going to end the year at about 30% up over last year. So we're beginning to see healthy reorders with our department stores and a great interest and desire to shop full price on our site, which is great. How do you think the pandemic has shifted the way that people shop? Obviously, we've made much of what's going, what's happened with regard to the transition more toward the e-commerce side. Obviously, you've been a huge beneficiary of that. Uh, but I saw that you're also allowing consumers to rent your products for about 25 percent of the retail price. Um, you know, are there any other ways that you're seeing a, a shift as people start to emerge and start to buy again? Well, we're definitely starting to see, obviously, people who want to go out, they want to touch and feel, they want to have the community that comes with shopping, as you had just reported. Um, and this borrow button is really exciting because so many people want to try something, they're not sure. And when it comes to the fact that they can not gut a subscription to every, every service out there, but be able to borrow something and or keep it, I think it really sets the tone for the future as people who are sustainably minded or who just want to try more things for less time without any, you know, contracts to sign uh, makes it a lot easier. Um, we're also seeing a lot of women buying heels. I think women are excited to get out and they're buying dresses. So we're seeing that she's ready to start going out and getting back out into being with her people. Can you give us a sense of what you're experiencing on the supply chain front? Our retail reporter, Courtney Reagan, has done a lot of work on, you know, the poor congestion that's been going on, how that's impacted inventory, how that's impacted shipping and so forth. Um, are you experiencing any bottlenecks with regard to your supply chain right now? You know, we've been extraordinarily lucky, and I think with a lot of foresight and planning, we have not experienced much congest uh, congestion. Over the holidays, we were a little worried, but we have an incredible logistics team, and they managed to get it out on time. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.